We are very glad that we have been joined by Muhammad Asif Chaudhary Saab, who happens to be an educationist and he is a regular on our program. Allah Rahman Rahim, Allah Masallah, Allah Muhammad Wa Ali Muhammad. Thank you so much for asking me this important question regarding the justice and uh, Karbala. Uh, when it comes to Karbala, we get the message of justice. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was fighting for justice. On the other side, Yazid was having an army of like 30,000 people, and he was uh, against the. I mean, like uh, 72 okay. people uh, on the Imam Hussain Ali Salam side. So, uh, why this all happened when Imam Ali Salam he was in Makkah, shortened his uh, Hajj, and he converted into Umrah, and then he started his journey towards uh, Kufa. When we see the depth of uh, the message that Yazid and his army and his people they started doing injustice over there, and people they started complaining. There was a messenger sent by uh, Imam Ali Salam to Kufa to analyze the situation. He, the messenger, uh, he went to Kufa and he started, you know, analyzing the situation. He got to know that Yazid has started betrayal and cruelty over there, and he is forcing people to obey his uh, commands and to take bad on him. Whereas when Imam Ali Salam he uh, got this message and uh, he got to know that his messenger was later on killed because uh, the messenger was having a complete uh, and he started inf uh, influencing people over there in Kufa. Later on Imam Ali Salam he uh, started his negotiations. He started his uh, dialogue with Yazid. But Yazid was on the other side and he started in his uh, cruelty and uh, oppression towards the people and towards the Alibad. Then the second option was there. Or fight. fight and that's what that's Imam Ali Salam he chose and, and uh, if you see the family of Imam Ali Salam they also sacrificed it's obvious, obvious that you know uh, Imam Ali Salam he was uh, guided by the greatest mankind of uh, on planet uh, yeah. Prophet yeah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam you see that you know what kind of uh, uh, like upbringing he got so he got wisdom he got like how to live in peace how to do justice and when we see uh, his father uh, Ali Ali Salam Imam Ali Salam, he got his the, the bravery and the warriorship. It's from his father. He was in uh, those era where Prophet Sallallahu and Hazrat Imam Ali Salam, they were guiding him. Abla happened within a day. It was there since ages that Imam Ali Salam was young, and uh, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi he uh, even like explained this to Sahabas that uh, Imam Ali Salam is going to sacrifice his life. He's going to sacrifice his children, his family members in front of him. Also, uh, uh, Asif Saab, one more question which I'd like to add on here. Since you're an educationist, right, how can we uh, include this uh, to teach the upcoming generations the spirit and the philosophy of Karbala? This is a very good question. Everything which, which happened in Karbala, it's related to today's world. Uh, whether it's violence, whether it's a tolerance, injustice, uh, standing up against the oppression. The, greatest message I hope, uh, I'm going to give all for the Muslim world is uh, Hazrat Hur Ali Salam's. Hmm. That how Hazrat Hur Ali Salam was uh, at the Yazid Lanatullah's army and uh, he fought against Imam Ali Salam's. And then later on, he changed his mind because of Allah. He, Allah Ta'ala gave him uh, the Hidayah on the very last moment, minute and he went to Imam Ali Salam. He asked for the forgiveness that what if like, you know, he changed his path and he changed his mind. So will he get the forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Imam Ali Salam, he uh, replied that indeed that, you know, if you ask for the forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in that case, you will be forgiven. And he uh, gave the uh, bashara of uh, Jannah for uh, Hazrat Hur Ali Salam. So what message we get out of it is that in today's world, we have seen that, you know, uh, people are doing like, you know, how they are, people are treating orphans, uh, how we can see that, you know, in humanity in our uh, like society how uh, the children are disrespecting their parents the parents are in the old age home and how we see that you know the brothers they are taking uh, uh, the shares of their sisters from the property and everything